Well, here we got my 29 gallon fish tank. Uh, I've got some frozen um, food for them. So we're going to dump that right in there. And they'll immediately go after it. Wonder when the big cichlid's gonna come up and get it. He's down at the bottom right now. These are a little bit better than blood worms. They stick together better. Blood worms go all over the place. Also invested in a automatic feeder. Right there. Pretty nice. Um, I don't. I got it on uh, kind of close to low setting, and it's on 12-hour intervals. So we'll see how that does. I mixed in. Um, cichlid pellets and also some tetramini tetramin and I, I course threw some algae things down there I just threw those in I didn't put them in the feeder and there's our frozen food don't munch on it. I had a, uh, I got a Tetra that died. I'm really bummed about that. Uh, the other fish will most likely eat it. So I'll let them eat that so it doesn't go to waste. I don't know what happened. All the Tetras get along. Every fish in here gets along good. I haven't had any fish die in a long time. I just have a lot of glowfish and I have a lot of tetra barbs and some algae. I got a placo right there and the cichlid. And the cichlid is kind of tame. It's a little territorial, but it doesn't kill any fish. Looks all the food's uh, staying clumped together. I don't know if anybody will eat it. And then. Probably here in the next few days, I'm going to go to town on on this. That's my vacuum. It sucks up all the sediment into that mesh thing, and then you take that mesh off and empty it out in the sink, and you don't have to change any water. But I do do I do change the water. I take out about 25% every now and then. And I have uh, some of this aqua safe that I put in there uh, every weekend. And then I also have some plant food. And then every day I add some of the CO2 boost. So now I got the automatic feeder. I don't have to worry about it too much. Just got that green one right there today. There's a big one. Got it at PetSmart. Looks good under the blue light. I got a lot of glowfish. I want my wind or my uh, water mill to turn, but it's not turning. It gives out some bubbles. But I decided to turn that back on. It's a little bit of overkill because I got this big pump here and under gravel, everything. Nice filter that spins, gets all that good microbes back in there. 
so it's a well established tank I'm hoping in the future I want to go up to a hundred gallon so we'll see like and subscribe enjoy the video